So I did a video yesterday on my ignition cover on my 01 CR250R. However, I'm replacing that video with this one because I was unaware of the copyright infringements on music playing uh, on your videos in the background. So, no problem, no biggie. I wanted to take the cover off to show what might be revealed inside of this since I've had this off about two months ago when I first got the bike. It had a lot of stuff inside of it, and I've replaced, um, I didn't, sorry, I didn't replace it, I took the cover off and cleaned up the seal a little bit. The previous owner had some gasket sealer around <clears throat> the original O-ring gasket, <clears throat> and I peeled that off and cleaned it up and stuck the ignition cover back on again without the RVT. And yesterday, when I took it off, it had a little bit of dust underneath the bottom, but not a whole lot. I was really, really happy to see that. But what I did discover was two things. Number one, um, these things are chintzy, and I may just end up ordering a new one. Number two, this bolt is different than these other three Honda bolts. Uh, these are all Phillips screws, and this one, when I took it out, was bent. It was actually bent. So whoever put that in originally, uh, there's a Hornet. Hello, right on my orange gas jug. Yes, nothing here, bud. <laughs> anyway, um, hopefully, there he goes. Um, this will do for a while, but I may order a new one. And you can see I've replaced that bolt with uh, another one that I've, I've got tons of other bolts from other machines, and that fit in perfectly with the coarse thread. And I'm going to be getting a flyweight wheel here any day now, so I wanted to also have a look at that. But just to go over this again, to take this out, you want to sort of go in a crisscross pattern. These aren't really tight because I knew I'd be doing another one. This one is an actual 8 mil now. It's very loose. But this bolt that was in here was bent. I couldn't believe it. So it's an, a plastic cover with a uh, magnesium case, or maybe it's an aluminum case. I think it's aluminum, actually. So like I said, these were already fairly loose from when I took them out yesterday. But when you do take these off, make sure you take them off in a crisscross pattern, and especially when you put them back on. Now you may have to tap this to get yours off um, a little bit if you haven't had it off in a while. But if you do tap it, just tap it lightly around the sides and just slowly peel off and the gasket may or may not come with it. Now I had this off already and you can see still that the gasket wants to stay in some places. So just have a look. At the very bottom it's kind of holding on there so I'm just going to slightly peel that off. And there you have it. Looks like someone may have already had a flyweight wheel in here at one point that was rubbing against that. Looks to me like that anyway. So yesterday I had a little bit of dirt down in here but like I said not a whole lot and that is nice and clean now. So I'm very happy with that. <clears throat> and the cover actually has a, a grooved recess for that gasket. Pretty good. See some of the old RBT peeling off. <clears throat> so that's in place. And then line up. And insert your bolts slowly so they start to grab a little bit to take hold. So it's snugged up. Mm -hmm. 
just butt it up. Boom. And then this guy. Be careful when you're putting these on because, like I said, this is plastic. And you can already see in one of these tabs, this one down here, if you can see that, wait where the screwdriver is, that's already been split from someone tightening that bolt too tight. Go easy on the tight, my friends always tell me. Easy on the tight, especially when you're dealing with aluminum. In this case, aluminum and plastic. And that should probably do it. You just really want to prevent water and dust from getting into this. That's about all. And I'm not torquing these, but if I were, I'd have to look them up. And that's it. That's the ignition cover on an 01 CR250R. So I hope you enjoy it. It's pretty basic, but uh, feel free to leave any comments below or if you have anything else you want to talk about or mention on uh, gnarly, gnarly Chicken. And we will talk to you later. Thanks.